Uh, but uh, in any case, I look forward to that process. I call Dr. Duncan Weaver. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This uh, Taxation Research and Development Tax Credits Bill is a really important piece of legislation. I think, um, as Mr Al Scott uh, asked, the right question is why should we have these tax credits? And I think we need to be very careful when we think about that. And it's not simply because we want to encourage research per se, it's because research has value which goes well beyond uh, the company or individual who generates that research. And we're talking about hard research. We're not talking about m market research, because hard research, research which creates technological advances, uh, adds to the net sum of human knowledge and human wealth. In terms of wellness, it gives us greater choices, it gives us greater prosperity, and that's what we need to do. But the difficulty is this for a researcher, for someone who's at the cutting edge of some technological improvement, Madam Speaker, is that once they make that improvement, it's very hard to hold on to it all for yourself. Notwithstanding the law of patents and copyrights and what have you, the fact of the matter is that once we get an advance of one kind or another, others jump on the coattails. And that's no bad thing, because what it means is that New Zealand as a whole, the industry as a whole, and in fact quite probably the world as a whole, benefits in some way. And in economic terms, that's one of those rare things, a positive externality, a benefit, a side benefit if you like, conferred as an effect of the main thing. So by providing this tax credit, what we are doing is recognising the fact that the benefits of this go beyond the researcher themselves, and in a sense giving back a little bit of that capture. So research isn't just good for some vague reason, it's good because it enhances productivity, it enhances prosperity, it enhances knowledge, uh, and also it spreads beyond, it, it has that filtering effect where it spreads beyond the person who, in, who may have generated it in the first instance. And this, in a sense, offsets those losses uh, because the worker who developed it might have gone to another competitor um, or something along those lines. And it is important to recognise here what research is under this legislation. It isn't uh, some loose, some loose um, market research, some non-systematic furthering of knowledge in a loose way. It is scientific research. It has to be systematic and, importantly, it must create new knowledge. Um, this is a, and, and we discussed not long ago a patents bill and talked about the need for genuine innovation. And that's what we want to fund here, is genuine innovation which makes an actual step forward. It's interesting to see what it's not. It's not some um, advance which is uh, deductible, de deducible from publicly available information. So in that sense, we need to make sure that it is a genuine scientific improvement. Now, it's also worth noting that the rate here is generous. 15% is a generous tax deduction and also a low threshold. The $50,000 threshold which is proposed, I absolutely endorse because there are many small companies, whether they be, be IT companies or um, medical companies, who may actually be one guy, one woman, working, um, working away, and they may only spend fifty dollars or $100,000 in a year, uh, but that also is deductible, so that's a great idea. But it also captures, as we mentioned Fonterra before, captures large companies up to $120 million of expenditure. So look, what this is doing is it's, it's, it's really encouraging something which has wider benefits. Um, it's a great innovation. I sit on the uh, Finance and Expenditure Committee uh, with Dr Russell and many others, and I look forward to engaging in a robust discussion on to how to make... Oh, I am Mr Tabato when he's not overseas. Uh, I am Ms Allen when she's not far too busy doing something else. Um, and, uh, and for that reason, uh, Madam Speaker, I absolutely commend this bill to the House. I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We 